Yesterday I was entering the lift and I was shocked by what happened. Watch till the end because there's one very important investing lesson I want to share with you. Oh, Kylie, this is Chloe and welcome back to my channel, the all-in-one place for you to learn about stocks, investing, as well as options. If it's the first time of you coming to our channel, remember to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you will not miss out any of my future investment insights. An early thumbs up is also appreciated because it will tell you to algorithm that you find this video helpful and it will actually help to push out to more people to inspire them to start investing safely. So yesterday, I was going to the mall and to send a Christmas present to a good friend of mine. Yeah, I know Christmas always comes early. So I entered the lift and wanted to go to level 5 where the post office was located together with a few other people. As I entered the lift, I was pretty surprised that the lift actually went down to basement 2 and basement 3 instead of going up. I could sense some impatience in the end, so I just cracked this spontaneously and I said, it's okay, it's definitely going to go up. We just have to be patient. And to my surprise, a calming voice came from the back. Yes, exactly. We just have to be patient in everything in life. And as I followed the voice and turned around, I saw this very old lady in her disability kit and she was pretty unstable in her walking and that's why her husband even had to help her on one hand in case she fall off accidentally. But despite the fact that she looked weak on the outside, she actually gave out a sense of peace, calmness and tenacity from her aura. She said, it will sure go up, patience is all we need. And apart from patience, we need other values in life too, such as love and kindness. And as she finished speaking, the lift door has opened and voila, we are on level 5. Once we reach the destination floor, I say thank you to her kind sharing and part a goodbye with this old couple. So what's the point am I trying to drive a course? I know lately there's so much volatility happening in the market and your portfolio is definitely being affected. You may be feeling anxious every single day seeing your profits being wiped out or suffering even more losses depending on when did you start investing. And as a result, you lose appetite, you lose sleep or even worse, you lose your mind. If this is happening to you, Man, you need to get a life. Your life shouldn't be just about investing results. There's so much more for you to appreciate apart from your portfolio return. So go out, get silly and have some fun. Go and play floorball with your friends. Go out for a hiking with your family members. Go for a bicycle ride. Release your stress with Muay Thai. Or simply go sexy with pole dancing. You never know, you may just bump into me. My point is, I know the stress that you are going through. And even my big pimple is screaming out loud in desperation. But the truth is, whose portfolio is not going down during this period of time? My portfolio went down, my mentor's portfolio went down, even Warren Buffett's portfolio is coming down. But does it mean that we are not good investors? If you are suffering losses right now, it doesn't mean that you are not a good investor. If you know exactly what you are doing, you should totally just let it go and stick to your game plan. But if you are feeling stressed about your portfolio performance, then you gotta ask yourself, are you indeed investing in solid businesses at a good price? Remember, investing is not gambling. You have to make sure you study the companies and really understand what does it do before making any form of investment decision. And when you study the company deep enough, you will have this sense of peace and conviction in these companies that even during volatile times like this, instead of trying to panic sell, you actually want to allocate more money into buying great businesses like this at a discounted price. So if you are losing your beauty sleep at night, then maybe it's time for you to re-examine your investing approach and re-look into the companies that you are holding on right now. If you don't know what to do, then make sure you get the right form of guidance and you can even watch some of my investing insights over here for you to see how deep dive do I go into the companies that I am investing in so they can get a sense of what you should be doing for your own homework. Lastly, investing is about being optimistic about life and the betterment of the human society. So ask yourself, do you believe that in the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years down the road, the economy will continue to do better because we humans strive to become better? Do you believe that technology will continue to advance and the world will actually become a much more developed place than it is today? I personally believe so because I'm long-term optimistic about the human's desire to strive for the better. And for that to happen, the market can only go one direction, which is go up. 
So although your portfolio could be at B2 right now, but with some time and some patience, I truly believe that as the lift door open, you will have realized that you have reached level five. So the key is stay invested, be happy about your life and have fun investing. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to my Telegram channel as I constantly update more investment insights over there as well. Tomio Kitsuku Tameni, Arigato Toshikani, Nalimashou, Mata, Laishou, bye bye! And it will actually help to push out to more people to inspire them to start investing in